So let's talk about the area of a square for a moment here. Now, just a little recap, area of a square is length times width. So if this is a one centimeter square, one times one is one centimeter squared. I hope you agree on that. The area of the square is one centimeter squared. All right, but if I said, let's convert this into millimeters squared, how do we do it? Well, the first thing we've got to remember is that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. God, that's a bit of a chonky pen. <laughs> so imagine putting 10 notches. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, hold on. Voila, we have got the same square and we have drawn in our millimeters. Here's one millimeter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the same is going up. So do we agree that each of these little squares is one I need to make this even smaller, this pen. One millimeter squared. Agree? And how many of these do we have? We have 10 this way times 10 this way. We have 100 millimeters squared. So how did we get from here? We literally times by 100. But how does that link to the original conversion between centimeters and millimeters? This was times by 10, remember? Hold up. Isn't 100 just 10 squared? And yes, you're right. So when you are converting between units of area, which are these units with a little square, you just have the number at the top for your normal conversion and you square it. So let me show you the conversion chart. It's down here. Yeah, sort of let me move. One moment. So here we are, back again. Oh, my voice. Oh, no, my voice is still bad. All right, all right, it's much better now. So what's happening here is that we had 10, 100, 1,000, but to convert between the units squared, which are units for area, you just have to square these numbers. So 10 squared is 100, 10,000, and a million. So now, hopefully, you can figure out how to convert not only units of length, but units of area too. So say, for example, you wanted to convert 5 meters squared to centimeters squared. So we know to get from meters to centimeters, you normally times by 100. But since this is area and everything's in squared, we are going to put a little squared sign up there. So your answer is going to be 5 times 100 squared, which is going to be 50,000. Because 100 squared is 10,000. So 5 times 10,000 is 50,000 centimeters squared. Another cool little thing to know is that this ha... Oh, wait. that i feel so clever and like up with the times ha but all of you must be really curious what is a ha a ha stands for hectare and a hectare is equivalent to ten thousand meters squared or ten thousand square meters so normally hectares are used to measure land um football fields stadiums so that's just another little unit in between just to keep out for, and that's a scale of 10,000. So don't forget about the hectare too. Ha 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 ha. You won't now, I doubt you will. Anyway, hopefully you guys have figured that today is all about area. So now that we know how to convert between different units of area, we can look at how to calculate the area of some basic shapes. The first one we're looking at is square, length times length. Hopefully you're feeling a bit confident with that. Rectangle is length times width. Parallelograms, which are my favorite shape. I will show you why. Because they are just rectangles in disguise. Let me zoom in and show you. So, are you ready? If you were to color this triangle in, beautifully like me, and then if you were to bring it over, 
wait, wait, can I actually do that? Okay, I figured it out. Ready? Bring that triangle over, bring it over, bring it over. What? And um, remember, we've sliced it and we've taken it out. If you are to trace the remaining shape that we got, it is a rectangle. What? So a parallelogram is a rectangle in disguise. So that's why the formula for a parallelogram is height times base. My fave. It's so cool. Triangles are also pretty cool, like maybe second best after parallelograms, because their formula is half base times height. Now remember, base times height, or length times width, is the area of a rectangle. But triangles are half the area of a rectangle. That's why we're halving base times height. So if you guys have always wondered why that happens, oh, there you go. But sometimes you might get some really crazy shapes like this one over here. And we don't know um, what that shape is. And we don't know how to get the area of it. So when you've got a composite shape, it's a shape where you're adding or subtracting the area of basic shapes. So here we've got a rectangle and a triangle. Let's show you some other wacky shapes you might have kind of like envelope looking thing which is a rectangle minus the triangle or you might have something that looks like this like a little house boom triangle and square so try and see if when you get composite shapes like these how you can add or subtract your basic shapes to get that new shape so let's try some questions here we are going to be converting meter squared to centimeter squared so first of all, quickly, write down your conversion chart. Look, I did mine. All right, it's a bit messy. You got a bit cramped in the corner. I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we're going from meters to centimeters squared. Now meters to centimeters is times 100. So that means we are going to times by 100 squared because we're looking at area. So that's going to become 0 0.248 times one zero 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 that's a hundred squared ten thousand i've got double the zeros and let's move our decimal point likewise it's going to become bigger number so one two three four two four eight oh centimeters squared all right now we're going to go the other way around we're going from millimeters to centimeters so we're dividing by ten but are we Nope, we're dividing by 10 squared because we are in area units. So 3100 zero, zero, divided by 100. And we're going smaller because we're dividing by 100. So start here, 1, 2, 3, 3.1 centimeters squared. Don't forget your units. Next up, um, let's look at finding some area of shapes. We have got 6 and 2. This is length times width. 6 times 2 equals 12. And this is area centimeters squared. Parallelogram, which is a rectangle in disguise. Same thing. 3 times 8. So the height times the length. Don't get fooled for this. This isn't the height. So if they've got like a 4 or something here, don't fall for it. And this is 24 centimeters. Oops. Nope. Not centimeters. My bad. Meters squared. And... Half times base times height, because remember triangles are half of a rectangle. The base is 13, the height is 7. Once again, don't fall for any of these slopies. We're looking for the direct up-down height, and that is going to be, oh golly, I don't know, 13 times 7, the top of my head. So I don't expect you to do it too, but you should know how to do your long multiplication. 91 times a half, so 91 over 2. Or if you want to do some long division, because that's totally fun. We're nearly there. 45.5 meters squared. Done. All right, and these last ones here, they are composite shapes. So have a think. You can pause the video in 10 seconds. What two shapes are we adding or subtracting here? What do you see? All right, hopefully you've thought about it. There's a rectangle, which I'm going to highlight. And there is a little baby triangle, which you're going to minus from it. So I always like to like actually trace the shapes like this. 
rectangle minus the triangle. Now the area of that rectangle is 10 times 6, because that's these two here, minus the area of the triangle, half times the base of the triangle, which is 10, you see that from the other side, times the height of the triangle. So 60 minus half of 10 times 4, which is 20. So our final area of this composite shape is 40 meters squared. Don't forget about your units. Now let's try this next door neighbor here and let's see what two shapes you can see. All right, I am going with a, oh, it was zoomed and now it's zoomed out. I'm gonna go with a square plus a little rectangle. Can you see here? Let's do that. You've got a square, which is the three by three plus, and it looks like a square. This one looks like a square. Don't blame you. It's actually a rectangle because this is one, this is 1.2. So I'm gonna draw like a kind of squarish looking rectangle. The square is three times three, and the little rectangle is one times 1.2. All right, um, three times three, oh, so tricky, nine plus 1.2. So together we add this up to 10.2 millimeters squared. So hopefully today you're feeling a bit more confident with how to convert between units of area and how to find the area of shapes, basic shapes and composite shapes.